Sabrina Molina comes from a tight-knit family. I'm proud. I'm really proud that I have Latino parents. She's lived in the D.C. area since she was born. But even now, at age 15, she says she encounters a lot of prejudice toward her Latina roots. Like, people sometimes ask me if I'm a U.S. citizen and stuff. Sabrina's mother, Ursula, knows that attitude all too well. She's been asked similar questions in the 26 years since she emigrated from El Salvador. It makes her mad, she says, but she shrugs it off because it's all she can do. And she's trying to teach her daughter to do the same. That makes me feel bad, too. I'd be like, what's wrong, you know, being Latino? At Centro Nia in Washington's Columbia Heights neighborhood, the message is there's nothing wrong with being Latino or any other culture. There's a lot of stories, even here in Columbia Heights, that it's a rich history. Now, many Latinos say they're finally getting the recognition they deserve, and they've even got some star power on their side. It is with great honor and humility that I stand here today with my brothers and sisters of the American Latino community. We know and believe that working together, honoring each other, we will make our country and community stronger and more vibrant. In October, Desperate Housewives star Eva Longoria was appointed to a commission to study the possibility of building the National Museum of the American Latino in D.C. It would focus on the art, culture, and history of the U.S. Latino community. In addition, that the folks at Centro Nia say would be an important step towards understanding and accepting all cultures in America. A museum would just create a dialogue, I think, that a dialogue that hasn't been had. A dialogue that 15-year-old Sabrina says she wants to hear. We really don't see stuff like that a lot. And I think that will make a lot of Latino people proud of that. And yeah, I think it's a really good idea. Reporting in Washington, I'm Kristen Mayorano.